A century ago, just 35 years after their beginnings in the United States, the Knights of Columbus came to Rome to offer activities to Catholic youth. Through decades and nine papacies, their presence still remains in the Eternal City, as members traveled for their board meeting in the city that welcomed them 100 years ago. It's been a wonderful relationship because to be so closely affiliated with the work of the Holy Father in the city of Rome has had tremendous benefits for the past century for our work in the United States and other countries, emphasizing charity, unity, and fraternity. Today, the charity offers special assistance, events for youth, like Special Olympics, and material funds for the improvement of the Catholic Church. One example of their attention to maintenance and conservation of Christianity is with the Scavitor, to see the tomb of St. Peter. Well, we're working with the Fabrica di San Pietro on an exciting project to have illumination for the Scavi, which is the tomb of St. Peter. So this is a tremendous testimony to really the founding of our church and the whole reason why St. Peter's is built where it is because they insisted on honoring the Prince of the Apostles, St. Peter, and they wanted the basilica directly over his tomb. In a meeting with Pope Francis, the Supreme Knight Carl Anderson promised the Pope they would continue to work to be a sign of unity, charity, and a beacon of light to the world. The Holy Father thank us for our faith faithful witness to the sacredness of human life, to suggest that we're a, a witness to overcome the globalization of indifference as a model for youth and young Catholics. For him to say that we have since our founding had unswerving support to the successor of Peter, what more could you ask for to hear that from the Pope? As they look forward with immigration and persecution of Christians as ever-pressing topics, they plan on evangelizing, breaking cultural barriers, and overcoming the globalization of indifference.